Okay. Good evening, Houston. You're tuned to 90.1 FM KPFT. My name is Rhonda Garner, and the name of this program is Radioactive. I'm going to help you to close out Friday night and start up Saturday morning. And, okay, Dewey's coming in to tell me that y'all can't can't hear me. And uh, it's true. I'm having some technical difficulties here, and I've got to figure them out. So, okay. All right, so I'm having to just grab some random CD that's in here that's probably an instrumental. So please try your hardest to enjoy it while I fix these snafuies that are going on. I want to remind you that we are in a uh, fun drive of sorts, a kind of a quiet campaign. I will be asking for your support throughout this program. Uh, but here we go. Let's go ahead and see what this CD has to offer. Oh, man. This has been a weird day. I'm glad there's only like 57 minutes left of it. right now 
All right, I'm feeling a lot better. It's a good thing my audience loves me as much as they do because, you know, I make you put up with a lot. So sorry for all that drama. I'm excited to be here with you on this Friday night, soon to be Saturday morning. This program is radioactive, and we are listener-supported radio, and we are counting on your pledge of support during this quiet campaign. So if you could please right now go to kpft.org. Hopefully it's more about giving than receiving at this time of the year. So 713-526-5738. I can also try to take your donation at that time. All righty. So like I said, uh, my Twilight Pilot are in the studio tonight. Matt Crow is a very, very dear friend of mine, and music is our connection in poetry and words. And everybody who listens to this show knows how much I loved Al. And uh, Al and Matt uh, Crow were best friends for a long, long time. And uh, that's how I got to know you, Matt Crow. Going to go ahead and turn up the microphones in the studio. Let's pray that I can hear y'all. Hey, Matt Crow. Hey, Rhonda, how you doing? I'm doing great. So happy to have you here. And uh, next to you, we have Matt Jackson from My Twilight Pilot. And uh, real pleasure to finally get to meet you. We've had the band in so a couple of times, at least mm-hmm. two or three times, and uh, never had the opportunity to hang out with you. And oh, so glad you're here to participate tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Lisa has been here before. Hey, Lisa. Hello. How are Good you doing? Good to see you. I'm doing great. So you know what? You guys want to just jump right into a song? Can we do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's just let the people know what you sound like, what you're doing. Okay. Well, in order to do that, we're, uh, we're obviously going to start off with a cover. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is the cover? So I can enjoy it more and not be trying to figure it out. Uh, so, uh, some Sparkle Horse. Oh! Oh, man. There's one thing 
just dance in this parking lot. Oh yeah, I got a heart in darkness. Oh yeah, I got a heart in darkness. a huge huge sparkle horse fan and uh <coughs> and so matt that crow that you've got i've had it all week and oh, yeah. uh so i hope you get to feeling better soon oh, i'm on the upswing from it i was bedridden for about a week and a half so i was for a while too <laughs> um so um why don't you go ahead and tell me like the the origination of my twilight pilot basically what were you and matt jackson matt jackson and matt crow uh is, is that correct like for example lisa wasn't with the band back in the day or right whatever. right well yeah initially uh initially me and jackson were together in a band in gosh 1993 94 yeah ish uh called uh, called majestic 12 and uh we did that for for several years and um and then uh didn't for a while mm -hmm. and in late 2000 mm -hmm. we uh we got back together and um somebody's in there tapping or clicking oh, on something that would be me <laughs> okay and <Stop>. uh <laughs> pardon me there's and, little drummer in him i think right <laughs> and uh and uh, yeah, we got together with uh, with Dave Hankins, who's still in the band, mm -hmm. uh, who plays keys for us. Hey, Dave. And uh, yeah, Dave's out there. Dave's at work still. As oh, a matter okay. of fact, he's uh, he's finishing off about a sixteen hour day today. Oh wow. And uh, and our our friend Matt Lofton, who now lives in uh, Istanbul, uh, he was playing bass for us, and uh, Jimmy Zarati was on the drums. And uh, we were with that lineup for uh, for a few years, and uh, then stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, about a year ago, uh, we got back together with uh, with Lisa on bass and mm -hmm. with uh, Dan Detrinas uh, playing drums for us now. So back in the 90s, you guys were like, y'all were touring nationally and stuff like that, weren't you? Uh, not uh, so, not much. so much it back was, then. It was kind of, a, kind of widespread locally. You oh, know, okay. We played Texas and mm -hmm. uh, a little bit Louisiana and stuff. Okay. I just recall you telling me about a lot of really cool bands y'all opened for. I was thinking yeah. it was more. Yeah, there were lots of national bands that had come to town that mm -hmm. were touring through that we had played with. Um, I'm trying to remember the names off the top of my head. Okay. Um, um, we're old now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Uh, now, actually, and most I, of them probably have walkers by now. So, yeah. um, well, I can remember one of the bands because I'm a huge fan of Centromatic. And you told me, Matt, that y'all had opened for Centromatic, which they're from Denton, Texas. Yes, they are. Uh, their main singer songwriter, uh, Will Johnson, Will Johnson mm -hmm. uh, is a big influence, and um, I'm a great admirer of his. Yeah, so, I can actually um, call Will a friend of mine, and in 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 only through the music but mm -hmm. um i actually recorded i've recorded a couple of sugar hill sessions with him done long interviews wow. and videos and and i've got some material i could probably turn you on to but i'd love to hear that <laughs> okay well we have got about 10 more minutes so you guys want to do another song like all of you together or sure sure uh, yeah we can do one uh this is one that i wrote um actually just right before uh we put the band back together um, 
I got to noodling around on the acoustic and recorded some stuff. So it's called No News Story Blues. You know, I, just so you know, Matt, if you could get your vocals up a little bit more in the microphone, that would probably be good. Let me, it's, how's that? That's good. That's the, it sounded like the uh, like the guitar was competing with your vocals. Okay. Bef but I'm not an engineer by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but I'm watching it while you're talking, too, and I did. I just needed you okay. to bump on up to that. Okay, not great. So t what is this song called? This song is called No News Story Blues. Okay. I'm sorry I won't wish you farewell Just goodbye, now it's over No new story to tell
my twilight pilot here in the kpft <coughs> studios that was matt crow on vocals matt jackson is here and lisa is also here um who are we missing tonight oh, another matt david and dan david and dan so david and dan yeah on keyboards and drums okay cool respectively. <coughs> I'm so dying. it's okay it's okay i'm glad it's you and not me to be honest <laughs> don't make me giggle or i'll start coughing <coughs> Anyway, uh, that song worked really, really, really well. I thought that was fantastic. Thank you. Really, Thank you. Really. That was me on the Mentos, incidentally. <laughs> yeah, that was, you know that what? was Matt At doing first, the percussion on the Mentos container. You know, when I first heard it, I was like, something's, something's crackling in there. And then I was like, oh, oh no. Something's crackling. That's delivered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have got about five minutes left. So why don't we go ahead and talk a little bit about why you're here specifically on this day. And that is because... Uh, well, we were actually playing for uh, what is going to be the reunion and the very last show for the band Manhole, who was uh, quite notable uh, in the 90s for uh, being a very well-known uh, all-girl uh, garage rock band. Uh, they're actually uh, getting back together. I think this is our first show, uh, well, our last show since um, five or six years ago, uh, whenever the H-Town film came out. Uh, mm -hmm. And that'll be, uh, the show is tomorrow at Fitzgerald's. Uh, doors are at five, bands are at six. I uh, believe there's about 10 or 11 bands playing, and we are actually playing the after party for both uh, celebra celebrating the end of the band and uh, Miss Eve Rodriguez's birthday, uh, who, which is also that evening. So it's, it's the party season. So yes, it is. Um, and so they haven't played together for a while. They haven't played mm -hmm. for a while, but and but you know they're kind of like mm -hmm. doing that one last hurrah. Yeah, they were pretty integral for the Houston scene. Uh, oh yeah, I, re for, I remember yeah. knowing. I didn't. I didn't hear them, mm -hmm. but I n knew of them. Yes, they're so. a wonderful live band. Right. It's funny uh, growing up. Like I didn't, I didn't really get into playing live music until I was in my very early twenties, and I looked up to them so much. I I never think of them as being about the same age as me. Mm -hmm. I always think of them as being, you know, like some senior, the senior class uh -huh. of the Houston music scene, and uh, it's funny uh, kind of being contemporaries with them, but also holding <laughs> them the esteem that. That I do growing up and listening to them play. Mm, it's kind of humbling, actually. It's very humbling. So, do you guys know what other bands are going to be there by chance? Uh, off the top of our heads, uh, a great pop band uh, called Before Radio, uh, well known uh, locals, Poor Dumb Bastards. Uh, let's see. I went to high school with Byron Dean. Did you? Yes, I did. We actually tried so hard to get Byron here tonight, but couldn't get in touch with him. Oh, yeah, no. Byron and I go way, way back. And as a matter of fact, his brother is married to one of my very best friends. Did you guys ever go to Sound Exchange back in the early oh, 90s? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We <laughs> okay. All the time. So, so did you guys know Dorothy? What, Dorothy Jackson, blonde, busty, yes. cowboy boots? <laughs> uh, yeah, sounds she, familiar. She's married to, Bo to Byron's brother, Bob. Didn't yeah. realize that oh. yeah and uh bliss worked there at that time mm -hmm. and I kevin bacos and oh, yeah. i am actually the first person that kurt brennan met when he moved to houston texas wow he worked at the cactus on 290 across the street from Gigi's, where anna nicole smith did her thing <laughs> nice little and i was the ticket girl i worked for Ticketmaster at the back of the store nice little bit of synchronicity there. yes and i remember that year what came out daryl hall solo album sacred songs uh ozzy osbourne the one i i i i don't know which one that is. <coughs> anyway Yes, good times. Lots of great people. I grew up here. I grew mm -hmm. up here, and I've always listened to music, always supported the local scene. Not so much in the past few years, but, you know, I'm older than all of y'all. Uh, so you're talking about seniors, and I'm in there going like, yeah, right, y'all are babies. But <laughs> well, we're actually born and raised here ourselves. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm actually second generation. What about you, Lisa? Um, I'm first generation. That I, well, the argument is in the band right now which one of us is actually Tex because Dave is Tex from one of his previous <laughs> jobs and I'm Tex because I'm the first one in my family born here. And oh. So I, I wear that with pride. I'll take it to my grave. Cool. <laughs> so do you have a, a nickname, Matt Jackson? Uh, 
Nothing Basically, we, nothing we can say on the air. Exactly. No, it's actually, well, in three minutes. <laughs> well, being that we happen to have two mats in the band and previously used to have three mats in the band, uh, we're to the point that we have to refer to each other by our last names. It's it's kind of humiliating, to Aww. be honest. It's like a t-ball well, team. Well, exactly. At least, but but it, Jackson and Crow's good. I mean, it, yeah. it could be worse. You That's know? true. You could be Finkelstein or It's kind of like Miss, Messina. And <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Messina. Okay, we're going to. Uh, play some announcements Maybe here. Messina, not Kenny okay. Settle down now. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down now. I think it's Messina's birthday tomorrow. Really? Don't ask me why I know that. Well, here, here's to you. <laughs> or to Jim. Um, okay, so we're going to come back after 12 o'clock, and we will be with my Twilight. Somebody's making noise in there. With my Twilight pilot. And uh, they're going to play some more songs for us, and uh, we're going to talk about music a little bit and maybe even play some of their songs. I asked them to put together a list of songs that they wanted to hear if they were to go on tour together. So they all contributed some songs here. We'll see how that works out. Okay, you're listening to KPFT 90.1 FM. Please go to kpft.org and make a pledge of support for Radio for Peace right now. Yes, 713-526-5738 is the number that you would call to make a pledge of support or go to kpft.org. So whenever I heard the music from the first promo and then whenever I heard the music from the second promo, it reminded me that Nick Lowe has a new record out on Yep Rock. Evidently, I think this is his third holiday record, and uh, he the band he's got back in him is uh, Los Straight Jackets. So if you get a chance, check that out. Okay, we are going to go back into the KPFT studio. And uh, all right, Matt Crow, Manhole's here, right? Correct. Cool. And uh, Jay Honey from Before Radio is here. Uh, and I'm not sure who else. Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are these people going to be playing anything or bringing CDs? Or? I think they're going to be talking about the show a little bit. Okay. Do we want to go ahead? Okay. All right. Why don't you guys go ahead and do uh, another song? Okay. And uh, I'll go uh, wrangle them in here and okay. figure out uh, what, you, you know, y'all can all talk about the show deal it's a show it's a show all right sweetheart what's uh this song is this a twilight pilot song no it's another cover we don't ever play covers at our shows so we figured we'd take advantage of your radio show for that okay so this is a uh, very this is interesting. special yeah this is by uh what do you think you are like yellow tango have something you, like that have you heard their cover record <laughs> i have you have what do you think of, that's all right I, I didn't. It didn't really do that much for me, but but it will probably grow on me like most things do. I'm always a critic. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is by the band Low. Oh my gosh! Uh, words. I play Low all the time. Okay. Yes. Go for it, dude. Thank you. wants to steal my soul and I'm tired Is that the truth he says the pain is easy Too many words Too many words
arms Come back, child Come back My hands are tied But you know I'm gonna make it Just one more night Too many words Too many words And I can hear I'm always really quiet there at the end and like for you guys to be quiet to where we like maybe can like put it on a KPFT sampler. <laughs> we do. We do. We should do one every year and we don't. It'd be a great way to uh, raise money. I want to give a shout out to Rodney and Robin. Uh, they are. They always like donate to Radioactive during Fun Drive, and he was calling to make a donation. We're going to hook up on Monday and uh, make some uh, make. He's going to make a donation with me, so I really appreciate that, Rodney and Robin. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I, like I said, I asked the guys to put together the guys and Lisa <laughs> to put together uh, like to give me some songs that they uh, wanted to hear if they were on the road. It would be on their mixtape. So basically, what I did was I took the first. First song that I could find on each of your list. So here we go. We're going to start off with Matt Crow's selection, a uh, band that he and I both love a lot, a whole, whole lot. And uh, that's Wilco. This song is called At Least That's What You Said.
was cute for you to kiss a purple black eye and even though I caught it from you I still think we're serious at least that's what you
Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. My name is Rhonda. You're listening to Radioactive. I'm here every Friday from 11 p.m. until Saturday morning, 1 a.m. So if you are on tour with my Twilight Pilot and you are like a roadie or actually happen to find your way into the band, you'd be listening to those two songs in the van, right? Right, Jackson? As we speak. Okay, you might want to pull the microphone up a little bitty bit. Yes. Oh, oh no, you know what would really help would be if I turned it on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Or it's I can a little bit better. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're, okay. good. we're good now, I think. But yes. All right, so speak. a lot of your friends are across the glass here. I've noticed that. A lot of people are here, and I'm excited about that. Guest stars. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn up the microphone. Everybody, so how do we want to do this? Hi. Well, manhole's Howdy. here. Yes, now whoever this little cute girl woman is, <laughs> she has a red flower in her hair. Hi. She's got some rhinestones on her glasses. I'm very observant, in case you haven't noticed. And uh, she was, like, pumping up the people, like, come on, energy, energy. And uh, she's dealing very well with my anxiety, so I appreciate that. What is your name? My name's Allison. Allison. That's a beautiful name. That yes. is the Thank you. name of my oldest child. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's very awesome. Yeah. I just happened to sing for Manhole, and we are all sitting here right right now. Hanging out? Just hanging out, you know, KPFT. All right. And I know, let's see, if I, can, I remember Eve is here with you, and she's part of Manhole, right? Yes, ma'am. She's yes. right okay. over there. And I apologize. I don't remember your name. That's okay. I'm Chris. And Chris is here, too. So Manhole is a band that was around back during the punk rock times here in Houston, Texas. Did you guys, like, play at that? island and the axiom and we were a bit after the island uh we did our very first show was actually at uh pick and pack mm -hmm. um ralph hey uh, ralph yeah um he uh really opened up a lot of ground to a lot of bands opening up the pick and pack to punk rock bands and kind of metal bands and our very first show was there with uh dixie waste mm -hmm. I know, um, i'm not familiar with dixie waste oh they're cool. they're awesome so um what Allison? What do you do in the band? Like what? What I your sing. Role? You're singing. You're vocalist. Yes. Okay. And Chris, what about you? I play bass. And Eve. Eve. I play guitar, but we also have our drummer Matt here as well. Oh, Matt. Okay. I don't think I got to meet Matt. Hi, Matt. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So it must be great, you know, getting to make music with these lovely ladies. It is. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So you guys were a big deal. You're still a big deal because I know you're revered. Now, I never saw your band, and I am a little bit older, so I was probably like birthing babies back then and stuff. But, <laughs> but, um,. But I, I'd heard of your band, and as a matter of fact, I even knew a couple of people with a T-shirt. So, awesome. um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I'm very happy to have you here. Um, We're you very guys, happy to be here. From what I understand, you guys haven't played for a while. Mm -hmm. And basically, this show is that you're putting on tomorrow at Fitzgerald's is uh, kind of like a last hurrah. I'm sure everybody that's out there is listening because they knew Manhole is going to be on the radio tonight is thinking, man, we really hope it's not the last show. You know, it's so like, who knows? You know, like you might find yourself like some of the other bands that say they're done, you know, like you'll be in here like in five more years, you know. It's like, okay, just one more time. Let's do it. You never know. Well, you know what? <laughs> when the spirit moves you. It does. It, and exactly. It keeps you young and there's no reason to not just keep on keeping on. So, Eve, where are you from? Are you from uh, Texas? I am from Texas, um, but I moved away from Texas. I moved to New York uh, you did. in 2000. Oh, do you live there now? Yes, I do. Oh, so you're down for the show. Yes, Matt and I are both in New York. Okay. And we rehearsed um, there um, for this show. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, the Paintings had a reunion show a couple of years ago. Yes. And, um, oh, my God, that show was so, so good. I so love good. that band. Yeah. yeah, they're an incredible band. Yeah. So is, uh, so who, who, what other bands are going to be playing with you guys? Oh, wow. Um well, we've got Portum Bastards, which are, you know, Houston staple. Yeah. And uh, sitting next to me right now is Mr. Jay Honey from Before Radio. Yes, I am here. Yes. <laughs> so, Jay, <Hello. laughs> pardon me, I have a cough too. So, Jay, um, is your band one that's playing current? In, in other words, so tell me about a little bit about your band. Do you guys play out now, or, or is your story similar to Manhole? Or no, no, not uh, similar to Manhole. We've been playing for 
Well, I've been playing for quite some time, mm-hmm. but uh, this is a fairly new band. I just put it together after I think I, I think I took like an eighty-year hiatus, you know, and uh, I missed it. I was still playing music every single day, mm-hmm. all the time. It's all I thought about. But I, you know, I finally uh, just got it back together. So nothing, nothing like Manhole. I mean, Manhole. I, I just got back from their practice, and <laughs> you know, people are definitely in for a treat tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that- I- I bet y'all are so happy to all be together. That's got to feel so good. We are. We all, we're we very happy to have this show together. And, uh, I mean, like Jay just mentioned, uh, that's one thing about this show is there's like 12 different bands playing, and you're going to hear 12 different kinds of music. There, Yeah, there's everything in this show. I mean, yeah. uh, to continue your question, I mean, uh, what we you know, Poor Dumb Bastards, you said, Texas, Texas Massacre, Odd Fellows, Pinche Gringos. I mean, come on, Sister Munch, uh, they're also from New York, and Eve's a part of that band as well. Um, then We're we've an got... all-female off- fe- all punk rock band from New York, so yeah. I play in, in Sister Munch, I play guitar in, in oh. that band. So. It's ap- absolutely incredible. We got TSS from, I think they're from Victoria? Yes. They're coming down. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Fugazi, which is actually a Fugazi cover band, which, I mean, I, I don't know who wouldn't be excited about that. And then uh, Demonic Hen, which is, I I think, the, I, I don't know... Uh, Oh, they're a sight to behold. <laughs> I, I I only struggle because it it seems so amazing to me that I, I just don't think anybody should miss it. I really you don't. You have to see them live. <laughs> no, I'm serious. They're vegetables. Yeah. They are vegetables. Each one's a vegetable. Yeah, it is crazy, and Each I can't band wait. I can't is a wait. Vegetable. Dresses. Eggplant's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, you know, for the I'll after- bring I'll bring my appetite. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, for the after party, we have my Twilight Pilot, which we just heard. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to be rocking it out. I'm super excited. I just heard them actually on the radio station in the bathroom, which mm-hmm. is really awesome. <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, best pee ever. That's you know you can hear you guys in the bathroom is great, but uh, you know they're going to be playing. I'm really excited about that. I think me and Matt have actually been trying to set up a show together for a while, but um, we booked so far out in advance, it was kind of hard to you know to set up and then all of a sudden we find out we're actually both on this show so it was really really exciting and just so people know there is an after show party so if you have if for some reason you can't make it to this show um at 11 30 it's free admission and my twilight pilot is playing that yep. uh, that party and it's free admission, so, mm-hmm. you know. So why not? Yeah, yeah why not? Come out. down and party with us. So, yeah, yeah. It's probably important to be clear about when the, our show starts. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Chris, yes. you might want to move up it to your microphone a little bit. Yes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the doors open at 5, music starts at 6? Yes. yes. Okay, But cool. everybody should be there at 5, because that's when the fun starts. Right, right. I mean, right. that's just straight up. Out of the door when you walk in, that's when it's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I think it's starting right now. Actually, I think it started like a few hours ago when you guys were in rehearsal because I'm like, yeah, uh, did, you know, did. I see the afterglow in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, whoa, you got a question for the band? Interviews from Matt. Well, it's good to see you guys. Yeah. Hey, good to see on, too. I think we're Facebook been... friends. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I've heard you plenty of times, but I've never seen you face to face. Yes, we've been crossing Very paths nice like, to for see the you. entire week. We've never He's pretty really easy on the eyes. I had never met him before t- tonight, Matt Jackson before tonight. My Twilight Pilot, I'm good friends with Matt Crow, and the ba- the other members have been able to make it in, but this is the first time I've gotten to meet Matt Jackson, so that was a real pleasure. And they actually, I don't know if you heard them, but they did uh, two cover songs. They did a uh, ba 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 darkness song, uh, Sparkle Horse, and they oh did. Oh my God, I love Sparkle Horse. You know what? I can't hear you in the microphone. Oh, Just so uh, you know. we did the song uh, Words by the band Low, and then Words by Low. Oh my God! Nice. Oh nice. wow, well, sorry wonderful. We missed that. It's yeah, awesome. and then they did one of their songs, which was also just like a. I think it was a really cool arrangement, acoustic arrangement, and it sounded really, really good. Awesome. All right. Well, so I've told you. I, t- I told y'all in there. I did go to school with Byron Dean. I've been to plenty of dumb bat, d- poor dumb bastards <laughs> show. We we're feel, sorry. We, yes, <laughs> we feel <laughs> very sorry for you. You know. You know. I'm gonna. This is a true story about Byron. Okay. So I was in a class above Byron, and uh, everybody's in a class above. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love you, honey. We love you, honey. Oh, that was so Come good. Cold. So anyway, he had this little art friend named uh, Reagan. And uh, Byron really, his only identity was music. I don't know if his tooth is still like really chipped, but he had this like half of his front tooth was missing. And uh, 
He always needed a haircut. He really looked like he needed sleep, too, even when he was just like a freshman in high school. <laughs> but uh, I had psychology with Byron. It was a lot of fun. Um, but we had this fantasy, me and my best girlfriend, uh, Lisa. That was back when, uh, like, the B-52s had just come out, and, you know, like. So we had this idea where we were going to have our own band, and it was going to be Byron and Reagan. And then me and Lisa were going to be, we didn't have very high goals. We were just going to be, like, cage dancers. Nice. Ooh. But <laughs> it was, it, it was, That sounds like Byron. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So, anyway, good times. I'm so happy. I'm good friends with J.R. Delgado. So oh, yeah. Um, I prob- we probably have a lot of friends in common. Yes, absolutely. So. Uh, but I'm really happy that you guys could come here. The show is tomorrow night at Fitzgerald's. Yep. Uh, you're going to get to see... Uh, Jay, I forgot the name of your band. It has radio oh, in it. Oh, I didn't even mention me. Uh, Before Radio. Before Radio is yep. going to be there. Uh, My Twilight Pilot's going to be there. Manhole's going to be there. Poor Dumb Bastards, plus lots of other bands are going to be there. Some great bands. Are you going to be oh, there? yeah. Me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You I'm know, the finger. You know, I... I there's a possibility, but I've actually been really sick. And also, too, and oh. I need to give a shout out to my buddies. Okay, Linus Pauling Quartet, I love you. Okay, I love you, and I think Raymond. you're playing. I think, we, I think, we do adore them, I, th- I think they're playing tomorrow uh, at Rudyard's. Yes. Not, am I right? I totally am on. Okay, just so you know, I'm in love with LP4. I've loved them for a long, long time. And they, I've, 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 I have one South by South West memory with uh, that with them and uh john nova lomax we just got down and crazy and then micah Hager. that was when micah Hager was doing the plus and minus show i love my i love Michael. we love yeah Michael. i love that Michael was a, really like a great. magical a magical night for all of us it was a awesome. really really good times and i'm sure that tomorrow night's going to be that way for you guys tomorrow is going to be incredibly fun and i really just i want to stress y'all come out and party with us i mean it's it's a manhole reunion it's possibly most likely our our final show we've really been working hard we have new material um and on top of that i mean for 10 bucks you have all these incredible local bands um and the camaraderie and the fun and the love that's going to be in the renewed fitzgerald's building it's going to be amazing You can't beat I mean, it. You can't. It's just everybody just come out and hang out and have a good time. You know, I know that I would have a really good time, so I'm, I will make an effort to make it out there. Well, it is going on for a long time. Like you said, it starts at five. I mean, you know. I probably see so many people I would know, you know. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. I well, I think Alice, a, yeah. There's going to be a lot of people there that, you know, we haven't seen in a while. It's mm-hmm. going to be kind of a small family reunion or a scene re- reunion. Mm-hmm. And, uh,. Yeah, I think I mean, she said it best. I mean, it's 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 kind of a party. I mean, it's it's a big party going on at Fitzgerald's. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. So um, and it's my birthday too. Yeah, it and it is Eve's birthday. birthday. Are you a Sagittarius? She's finally yep. turning twenty. Are you a Sagittarius? I'm She's finally turning twenty. <laughs> I'm turning twenty-five. If you just switch that around. <laughs> uh, oh well, I have you beat. So just uh, yeah, I got you beat there. Um, I guess I'm uh, forty-five. You're forty-two. I'm forty-five. You know what? I think we look like we're in our forties more than we look like we're in our. That means 50s. I'm eighty-three. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're, yeah. You're like eight. Yeah. <laughs> I act like it. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit, uh, uh, Allison, Chris, Eve, and I forgot your Matt. name. I'm sorry, we didn't get to meet bef- like we I did with the with the ladies. Um, so growing up, like, why don't you each go around the table just to you know, like, have a question? Uh, growing up, like, what was your favorite band, or what was the first band that really rocked your world? And we're not talking about like the Partridge Ooh, Family or anything like that. that you know, like real question. music, not your Tiger Beat stuff. You know, like real deal. Oh, we can uh, start well, that this is Allison. Um, I mean, as a like uh, preteen, uh, I have to say it was Black Sabbath. Mm. I got a hold of my dad's nice. Black Sabbath albums and totally commandeered them and stole them from him. Mm-hmm. But once I got into my teenage years, it was totally Black Flag. Oh. So between, I guess, I guess I like the blacks. So, <laughs> so guess what I did? I saw Van Halen open for black sabbath Ooh, at the coliseum nice. yeah i was in like i don't know the ninth grade i guess something like that it was a really really good time very really cool. good time yeah so what about you eve me well i 
I really dug a lot of the like the same music that Allison just described. I liked a lot of the rock stuff. My my favorite band was probably Led Zeppelin back then. Mm -hmm. But um, and I I really got turned on. I mean, I listened to a lot of like rock back then in this you know 70s type rock black sabbath zeppelin acdc but um once i started listening to more of the alternative stuff what i really really latched on to was the straight edge music so i love bands like shelter um better than a thousand um bands like that that's what really because i love the um, you know, they have a lot of really cool political and social statements behind their music. And it's very heavy, but melodic at the same mm. time. And um, I'm going to have to write those names down because I have not I haven't listened. I've never even heard of those. Bands. Yeah. But, you know, and and then I love bands like, you know, also like My Twilight Pilot, like that type of genre, low stereo lab. You know, I just love it all. <laughs> I love it all. And here's, here's I love my, it all. I will tell you what he uh, yeah. Let's on get it. Yeah, get oh, a microphone I, over there. Growing up, I I th listened to new wave and heavy metal and somewhere in between. Uh huh. And just stared at MTV okay. from the time yeah. it came on the air. Can you be? Can you give me one artist specific? I think like? my first album was ZZ Top. Oh, okay. You know. When yes. I was like six years old. Oh, I really believe idle. that. Uh, you know, and ZZ Top is, they're a phenomenal band, actually. They're, you know, I oh, mean, yeah. they're so That Tejas good. album, man. Oh, oh my gosh. It's timeless. That yes. Fandango. Yes. Fandango. Yeah. I was in, it was like I was a freshman in high school, man. <laughs> and I, everybody uh -huh. was looking for some tush, you know. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> anyway, and Chris, what about you? Uh, I'm, I'm not as cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> So my Tiger Beat, I want to bring up my Tiger Beat. My Tiger Beat band mm -hmm. was Duran Duran. Because, and, and I still that, think they're valid. <laughs> they are. They are. Duran Duran and was a great band. Their bass play, the bass player, John Taylor, like totally inspired me like to start thinking about music and, and isolating the different instruments and mm -hmm. like really listening to harmony that totally blew my mind musically um and then as that i went through the new wave thing as well and i think the first band that was that made me think that i really wanted to be a musician was actually the really early rem stuff oh uh so my heavy heavy period came later mm -hmm. later like i totally got into the the same stuff they're talking about but came later um i was like checking out some new music and peter buck has a new cd out and he's performing as fernando fernando yeah it's a brand new cd it's well, out good yeah, to know I good no to idea. know good to know all right so chris what about desert island record what what would you take with you only one record uh, so it has to be like you like the whole record man we don't mm, you know we don't always get to listen to music like that anymore at least that's not how our well, kids my, listen to it my my funny radio answer would be the xanadu soundtrack <laughs> <laughs> um, but i'm gonna have pass and let someone else answer and then i'm gonna think of a really good one okay all right <laughs> So, Allison, I know you've got something good for me. Oh, it's such a hard question. It's really not, because there are um, so many freaking fantastic records. I mean, the first thing that pops into my head is Slayer, Rain, and Blood. Okay. You know, but Ooh, then, I mean, nice one. I mean, that's going to keep you occupied for a while. And oh, Chris, Chris has got it. Something. She's go, like Chris, go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chris is ready. Angel Dust by oh Faith No More. Okay, oh. gotcha, gotcha. Angel Dust. I know, still not cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay, what about you? Desert Island album. About me? Yeah, Desert um, Album. Desert Desert Album was album. The, was that the same as Island Records? Or? No, no, no. If you were, if you no, were it was stranded on a desert island with one album. Oh, oh okay. Um. That's an that's an old people be? thing. Yeah, that's an old school question. God, that's that's that Get sucks. Get the hamster on the wheel. I mean, it would have to be. Uh, man, I, you know what? Maybe Fleetwood Mac rumors. Um, oh, that's a good. It's, yeah. It's one that I can't seem to live without. I I I end up popping that on from now. I mean, my mom got me into that. We used to sing it in the house a lot, and uh, it, it was really cool. Um, you know. Uh, Fleetwood Mac ruled the 70s, and as a matter of fact, uh, the album Fleetwood Mac, which symbolized a change for them. That, my favorite that, song's on that one. Yeah, well, I mean, come on, the girls are like so good on that. Oh, yeah. my gosh. But um, actually, that record is 25 years old. 
Wow. 25 years old this huh. month. Heavy. Tomorrow, 25 years old. Oh, so we should celebrate. by what, what should we do? Maybe tomorrow should, is 25, yeah, 25 years, years old as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it all worked out. Oh, my gosh. Double celebrating at Fitzgerald's tomorrow. Lisa, you were sitting over here to the left. So when we she were, was, when she we had were, a response. When we were doing my Twilight Pilot, uh-huh. you were sitting over there where Jay is sitting, and I right. can't, I can't even see that. I can't see that. So oh, you're missing out. But anyway, I know, absolutely. I <laughs> so let me like put a little bit of attention here to you. Okay. What would your desert island record be? Oh dear God. Um, geez, you know I remember the Breeders Pod. Oh, the I, I worked in I worked in a photo lab in a parking lot, and I just, oh a fox. I would pop that thing in, and it, the tape. Okay, uh-huh. so old, right? But and it, eight track. I, well, no, I not that did. old because well, I bet it wasn't no, an eight track. No, I did do the eight track. I oh, know now. Gary Gary Wright's Dreamweaver eight track, and oh, I had gosh. the album. Um, what about so. Al Stewart's Baker Street? Oh God, <laughs> the Dreamweaver. <laughs> just like okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> So, <laughs> I didn't actually really care for that song, but they were just playing it. No, over well, I mean, you know, that was one of my actually the Dream Dreamweaver was one of my first albums, but I just remember Pod. I couldn't have told you what the first track and what the last track was because that that sucker was just going constantly, and I, I mean, I, I just I loved it. Um, so, what was the first? piece of music that you ever owned mine was meaning you're gonna i'm gonna go way back so because i was little i was you know like not even in kindergarten and my first record that i ever owned was nancy sinatra these boots are made for walking oh that's a good one that's a good one you know um, i remember laying in bed with my dad and in their bedroom and on the you know remember albums were so great i'm so glad that vinyls made a comeback but back then the records were really really good i mean you'd get tons of sh- stuff written on the inner sleeve and on uh-huh. the back side and i can remember my dad reading to me the back of the nancy S- sinatra she's a honey blonde with brown you know <laughs> eyes and, and her, her leopard skirt or something i don't know but it was really cool so sorry to oh no there. not at all well, so your first record. I probably had an unfair advantage because my dad's a DJ. Oh, okay. And so I got my first turntable uh, for my third birthday. Mm-hmm. And Your third I, birthday? For my third birthday. Oh, and my gosh. I had a dishwasher box full of promo 45s and a few albums. And so uh, one of my favorite, my first album that I recall uh, was had the Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Uh-huh. And uh, I do remember having Sonny and Cher's I Got You, Babe. 45 that were in heavy rotation for a while because mm. they had the perfect beats to jump on the bed to. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I jumped on the bed to Sonny and Cher for sure. Um, my mom was pregnant with me in 1961, which was when the Beatles came here to Houston. And uh, so awesome. she, she blames me and says that she didn't get to see the Beatles because of me. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Mom. So, so sorry. Okay, Allison. Yes, ma'am. I think I know. I think I, I think I'm going to know the answer to this question, but I'm Uh-oh. not sure. Okay, so <laughs> the Beatles or the Stones? Oh, Stones, hands down, absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, you're That's what I thought. <laughs> is, every, is everybody in agreement with that in that room, or I is am. there somebody? No, no we're probably split fifty-fifty on that one back I, here. I love both. I you mean, love, seriously. But, I've no, got but but you're not allowed. But you're not allowed. You have to pick. Oh, that's one. not the rule. The yeah. Who. The Who. Uh, I love <laughs> the Who. I love the Who. Black sheep. She's the black sheep in the family. I love <laughs> Xanadu soundtrack. <laughs> Can you see Santa do like doing a, 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 some Who covers? I can't see that. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't even think I could see the Who do covering Santa. No. You know, Abba. That's yeah. not going to work. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm super excited for you guys to have your reunion show and your last hurrah show. Manhole is going to be at Fitzgerald's tomorrow. The doors open at five o'clock. Bands start at six o'clock. It's a nominal amount of money to get in there. Yeah. Uh, if you have other plans, like you know, and it's you, all ages. Sorry yes, it is all ages, you, and we and yeah, we might. Sw- if you want to bring your kids, absolutely bring your kids. That's an important point, and we might switch it up. Manhole might play at five. We, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you know what? When you said your kids to Fitzgeralds. One time I puked in the planners there at that painting show. <gasps> I did. <laughs> no, it was you. <laughs> Well, no. What's worse is then after the painting show, we went to Natsuo's. And all I know is I got dropped off at Fitzgerald's at like 5 o'clock in the morning, 
I'd lost my glasses, and uh, I was it was it was not a good night. Oh. And I puked in the plant. Oh, but listen, it was Mother's Day the next day. Oh no! And I remember when I was like puking in the planters. There were like all these kids and moms. Oh, no. They were having an event at Fitzgerald. <laughs> yes. So. Um, yeah. So good time for everybody tomorrow night. Uh, what sure. I was going to say is if you have a Christmas party that you're going to go out and be attending, the show's going to be going all night long. There's an after party. So there's, you know, if you want to see the show, you can yeah. because it's an extended play. And, uh, you know, if you can't make it out early, make it out late. Yeah. Somewhere in between, you know, whatever works for you. But go out and support local music. Get turned on to some yes. new bands. Absolutely. Yes. And, uh, don't course, be afraid. Poor dumb bastards are going to be there. My Twilight Pilot's going to be there. Pinche Gringo. Yeah. Sister Munch, Nod Fugazi, Demonic Hen, TSS, Texas Massacre, Odd Fellows, Before Radio, PDB, and Manhole. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm so happy to have met y'all. And, um,. You too? I mean, it does. I mean, it actually does mean something to me. I, if you, as you can tell, now I'm not as anxious, <laughs> and I and I did know. I mean, I knew about you guys, and I never, I never got to see you. And and I, and I was telling him when back then, I thought the name of the band was so cool. I thought it was like <laughs> so cool, and it so. Was. Well, it is, and it is, and it is, but I will say, I will confess, so now I'm like 54, I've got three daughters, and I'm driving in, and I'm thinking about Manhole, and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 and I'm like, man, that's a really cool name of a band, and then I'm like, well, wait, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it now that I have more respect for myself? Is it? No, I'm saying that. I respect myself enough to love to love my manhole or my or my, or my woman hole. Yes. Yep. Okay, but no kids or animals. Just you know. Okay. All right. But but any human being, however you identify. No, that's not true. I'm just pretending. <laughs> like I'm pretending. We're, we're just all at peace with ourselves. You know, people who talk about sex never have it, right? Uh. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Um, all right. Well, so anybody want to add anything or, you know, just um, just want to just, um, I guess, reiterate what Allison said. This is it's going to be bittersweet for all oh, of us, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, especially for, you know, mm-hmm. uh, me, Chris and, and Allison. But um, it's. We wanted to do this because we wanted, we had a couple of shows that we did that were, you know, for the, um, for a showcase when called we When ruled We Ruled H-Town. H-Town. But mm-hmm. we really wanted to take time to really do a longer show and to just show our fans how much we appreciate them by wanting, by, you know, doing a big party and hanging out with them afterwards. Because we never really get a chance to do that mm-hmm. after we play because then... We're usually on our way back home or whatever, you know, so we wanted to really take the opportunity to spend time with everybody and say hello and goodbye. I I, I bet you you're going to have a really good turnout. I can feel it. I think you're going to have a really good turnout and nobody's going to be disappointed. Everybody's going to have a good time. Thank you. Everybody's going to have a good time. Uh, I I know we're going to have a lot of fun. That's that's for sure. That's, That's without a doubt. It's going to be a, a positive, uplifting place to be tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and I apologize. Jay. Jay. Jay, yeah. Jay. Oh, me. Well, yeah, I'm getting confused, though. Okay. Jay, mm-hmm. um, do you guys, do, does your band have any other shows coming up that you want to announce or anything like that? Any of you have any other projects you work on? or? Uh, we do. This is this is the most important thing to me right now is going to be tomorrow night. Um, we do have something coming up at Fed, uh, in February. Uh I believe we're opening up for Forty Five Grave, Woo-hoo! which which should be pretty cool. I mean, I I'm a big horror fan, so anything that, you know, like hearing them on Return of the Living Dead, you know, and I think I was like seven because my mom let me watch all that stuff, and mm-hmm. she's really cool. Jay, I think you should come in and DJ with me sometime. You've yeah, got, you've got a great radio personality and voice, and oh, thank you. But if, you know, we don't want to sound professional or anything. But I mean, no, you ju- you're just so you've got so much to offer. I mean, you're obviously. I mean, I, I if I ask you a question, I know you're going to have an answer. And <laughs> I'll I'm, try and, to. And I'm trusting that you have good taste. In <laughs> Except I don't, obviously don't know what Desert Island means. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wasn't the PJ Harvey record on? No. Record? <laughs> well, that, that don't would, let them get away with the four little that words would either. Be a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Album. Yeah, that happened last night. That wasn't fun. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and uh, head on out. 
because Pat uh, Night Sounds is up next. Okay. And I don't know if y'all know about Night Sounds, but they're here from 1 until at least 4, maybe even wow. 5 a.m. And they have nonstop local bands in playing awesome. live. So. Oh, great. We'll listen very to them on the cool. way home for sure. Right. Oh, it was very p- nice to meet you all. And I, like I said, I think you're going to have a, I know it's going to be a success tomorrow and it will be bittersweet, like Eve said. Um, so. Thank you so thank much you. for yes, having thank you for us. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, I guess y'all didn't bring a CD or any music, huh, to play? Like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can we play, I can play the all their songs on Matt's acoustic guitar oh, right now. No. <laughs> Matt's, <laughs> that's actually what Matt's doing next. Okay. Yeah. Stick around. Were you guys familiar? Manhole covers. Were, you, were, you, were uh-huh. any of you familiar with a local band here in town that was pretty popular like four years ago, uh, and that was Rocky Moon and Bolt? No, I've never okay. heard of him. No. no. Okay, well, Rocky is really, really interesting guy. He had a girlfriend named Cassie on keyboards. He loved ELO, David Bowie, and oh. uh, just a lot of heavy piano and just real dramatic rock, you know. Cool. But anyway, so but Rocky is it, short, shorter, very hairy, long hair, very hairy everywhere. It, attractive hairy. I like hair, so that's like not you know that's not like a whatever. <laughs> Okay. The reason why I'm telling you this is important. So he comes up. So I'm gonna. He's coming on the station, right? And so he comes, and he doesn't have on any shoes, mm. and he has on these really short, short, tight, cut off jeans. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> and he just shows up, and I'm like, "Hey, Rocky!" And he's like, "Hey, Rhonda!" And I'm like, "So, I'm like, where's your guitar?" He's like, I don't know. I lost it last night. And I'm like, are you kidding me? He's like, no. He said, but I have another one at the house. Uh, I, I, maybe I should go get it. And I'm like, well, how'd you get here? And he's like, well, I walked. And I'm like, well, would you like to use my car? And he's like, no. And I'm like, I'll just walk over. I'm like, well, what about a CD? Did you bring a CD? No, I don't have a CD. So, yeah, Rocky just showed up with uh, tight shorts. Nice. And uh, no, no music. Wow. No guitar. And... I think he left his mind at home too. But you, girl, you ladies were all, you gentlemen, you were all very, very present. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank all you. right. Well, y'all have a wonderful holiday season and a super blast tomorrow. Thank Lisa, you. thank you for coming in. I know I'll see you again. Yeah, thank you so much. Matt, Matt Jackson, it was very nice to meet you for the first time. It was nice to meet you. And thanks on behalf of all of us for yes. having us on the, on the show. Jay, nice to meet you. You too. And, uh, very maybe, much so. Maybe you can come back in when you have a recording we can share. And other. Whole member, manhole. Oh my God! Pardon me. Other manhole member. Um, I said whole. Um, I don't know your name, and Matt. I, and I didn't talk to you a whole lot. That's okay. But I'm glad you were here. I'm glad I'm here too. And if you uh, and any projects you have in the future, all of you, or any shows that you want to get behind, or any of you want to come DJ with me one night, we oh, can do that. Oh, that'd be awesome! Oh, wow, that would be yeah. Fun. I do yeah. I do like the idea of doing a community playlist. I did that last week with a few people and um so you know like where just I have friends come in and play and can, talk about can, music. Can I give a quick shout out to my two other projects? I yes, of course. Absolutely. Yes. Um, she needs to do this. I sing for two bands here in Houston. One of them is Super Grave. Mm. Okay. Uh, and uh my other project is Baron Von Bomb Blast. Oh my gosh. So uh anybody wanna check those two out were both on Facebook and uh, two very rocking projects. So yeah, and this is this is Jay. Like you really you really should. Uh, oh, and this is Allison. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, those are two bands that you definitely need to see. I'm uh, one of them being one of my favorite bands in Houston right now. There's a lot of good local stuff going on, but if if you get out there and see that at least one of those two bands, you're gonna have an excellent time. I mean, it's great music. Okay, well, I'm going to get all... And, you know, Eve, I'm just real curious to know, what, what do you do in New York? Like, um, Well, right now I'm playing in another band, an uh, all-female punk rock band named Sister Munch. Yeah. Um, so I play guitar um, and bass in that band. and At the same time. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> and um, honestly, I just, um, you know, I just needed a change of scenery, but... Yeah, um, you don't want to know what I do for a living. I don't. <laughs> well, I, you're very glamorous in a very uh, in a in a in a natural way. Oh, thank you. And and you, I don't know. You just seem like you know you'd be oh. a curator of some type, or I don't know. It, Make something up. Make something yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do this real quick. We've only got a couple of minutes. Okay. So if you could be anything in the world, Eve. Who are you? What are you? What do you do? How do you like get your groove on and actually make some cash? 
Wow, whatever I could do, I would sculpt. A sculptor. Mm-hmm. I knew, see, I can see the artist is in you for sure. Like multimedia. And uh, you did not ask me what my desert, desert island? island. What's your desert island? Lo, the great dis- destroyer. Oh, yes. one of my absolute <laughs> yes. favorites. And you know what album of theirs that I've just recently fallen in love with? And I can't remember the name of the record, but it has the song Sunflower on it. Sunflowers. Mm, oh, uh, Things We Lost in the Fire. Oh, that is oh yes. Yeah, things we lost in the fire. You, I play I play low all the time. You need to have you heard Y Oak? Y Oak, yes, I do know oh Y Oak. God, they're yes, amazing. Yes. Okay, I do. but I'm gonna let Matt go now. Okay, Matt. <laughs> okay, if you could be anything in the world, what would you be? Uh jeez. A drummer? Oh wait, I am a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're living the dream. Matt's Almost. living the dream. Chris? I'm also living the dream. Aw. Okay, Allison, I want something really original from you, girl. Well, it's probably not going to be that original, and nobody's going to be surprised at all, but I would run a feline senior and a... <laughs> a feline I, I, senior? Feline senior rescue center and big oh. cat rescue. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah. Just nobody, so you all know, Byron's shocked. brother, Bob Dean, who's married to my very good friend, Dorothy Jackson, uh, they have a bobcat above their <gasps> fireplace. Oh, the stuffed, stuffed one. Yeah, yes. I know. It was like, Dorothy, it. are you really going to let him put that up there? And she's like, well, why not? And I'm like, okay. Jay, what are you? Who are you? Who? What, what's your dream job? Um, I don't know. You know, I, I just want to help people. So, I mean, if I if I was doing that, I think I'd be very, very happy. You could if, help if me I had, Cat Rescue Center. Yeah, I would definitely be there <laughs> helping her. I mean, I would love all the money in the world to just be able to do, you know, just You know what? Being of service is, is but, it's it's great. And if you're ever yeah. interested in being of service, like maybe one night a week or something like that, I could hook you up with any kind of group uh kids i i personally work with uh montrose grace place and we have uh it's a it's a thursday night for um homeless mostly transgender youth or you know no, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's good cool. to get out there's, there and help there's people. All, there's all kinds of little, you know, lots of ways that people can use your service. Very easily done. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. It was a pleasure to talk to each and every one of you. Thank and you. I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, you're tuned to 90.1 FM KPFT. My name is Rhonda Garner. Again, you're going to want to go out to that manhole show tomorrow at Fitzgerald's. Doors open at 5 o'clock, and uh, uh, music starts at 6, and it's going to go all night long. My Twilight Pilot's going to be there. Jay's band's going to be there. The Poor Dumb Bastards are going to be there, and all the bands that Allison uh, listed off there. So if you get a chance to go, do that. Uh, a night sounds is up next with Jay and Lisa, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we've only got like what three minutes here, like two minutes to kill. So I guess maybe I'll just. Uh, this was a song that Lisa had chosen. I didn't. I only got to play the two Matt's songs, but I don't even know what this is. But it's uh, Angeli. Oh wait, let me get your mic on, Angeli. Um, Angeli. Oh goodness, and I can't even see her name from here. That's okay. And Angela. She's it. actually the violinist playing. Um, the composer, I couldn't pronounce his name if I was even drunk. Okay. So, but it's it's awesome. I love it. All right, cool. Thank you.
KPFT, Houston.